Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Penn. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be showing you the initial setup and getting your interface to look like this for the Dune HD Real Vision 4K Plus Media Player. Just going to be a step-by-step. -step. Going to give you some tips, some suggestions, and I'm looking to get you set up so that you can be successful with this device. I'm enjoying it so far, and I just want to share the knowledge. So after I roll this intro, we're going to get started. Okay, so when you first load into the device, you're going to be met with an interface like this. A lot of people find this to be, you know, a little bit old school or a little bit confusing, um, however you want to slice it in this case. The first thing that you want to do here is get over to the setup. So I'm going to be this uh, gear icon here. And you want to get yourself familiar with this. Um, before you do the firmware, through the initial setup, it's going to check for that. Um, my TV had like a black screen, I think because of uh, it was like a soundbar issue. But you can set up everything right here. So, I'll show you. In general, you just set up your time, your screensaver format and whatnot, and you put that there. Video. I want my all frame rates to have uh, the support when there's like switching and matching, auto resolutions enabled, and it gives you HDR and Dolby Vision settings. You can customize this to a T. Additional settings, all that's here. All right. I'm just showing you a quick breakdown. If you have your stuff plugged directly into a receiver or a soundbar, then original bitstream is the option that you want to go with however i do understand that not everybody wants their stuff set up that way so if you're running it directly to the tv and your tv may not um support all the audio formats you'll be fine with auto if it supports atmos or dtsx it's going to automatically select that based off of the auto configuration so just know that you have options I don't use PCM decode. I either use auto or original bitstream. And if you see the camera shaking a bit, I am recording this off of my phone. Um, I did say in my community tab that my capture card did die. That's the network. <clears throat> this is my collection. I'll show you how to set this up once we get to the new interface applications here. And this is where you're able to see the Android applications, for example. Let me just adjust this. Okay. So it comes preloaded with Smart 2 Next. That's an ad free YouTube. Um, it does support Samba server. So I have mine turned off, but you are able to come in here. I'd also um, disable SMB1, um, just a security issue. Um, at the bare minimum, you should be using SMB2. Perhaps I can go over that in like a later video. Does give you the ability to enable community applications. I have that turned off. TV. I'll be going over that later. Network browser. Show a menu. Widget for the time. And that's like a radio application. Music. Okay. So I did want to show this off here. Um, have a support. Because if you're into like sitting like debug dumps and things like that, you can do that there. 
They have appearance where you can change. And this may be different for you depending on what firmware you're on. I'm on the latest firmware, but once we get into the new layout, I'll be able to go a little bit more in depth. Just getting you familiar with this screen. Just look at this screen. Look at the icons, look at the rows. You're able to customize your playback options here. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but you're able to do that in this menu. Now, if you feel that I'm going too fast during this time in the video, you can do two things. You can pause the video and take some notes. Um, you can rewind it multiple times, or YouTube has a built-in um, speed function where you can make my voice go quicker or you can make it go slower. It's dependent on you. So if you feel that I'm not covering something, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth into it later. And I'm also going to be addressing your questions as well. Now, this is the information about the device, but system, if you're familiar with you know, things like the NVIDIA Shield and things like that. You've seen this panel on the right side, this layout. Let me zoom in there because uh, the camera off of my phone is giving like a bloom effect. That's just the phone. Uh, device preferences. And once again, this can be preferences uh, based off what you want generally to enable um, developer mode you would press on this build like seven times i've already did it because i'm already a developer and you can enable something called developer options from here the only thing that i did honestly it was changing the animation scale from one to 0.5x you can pause this right here, copy those values down. What this does, it makes the device run a little bit, you know, it gives it that smooth effect, you know, that flow to it. All right. I'm going to go back. And it gives you the ability to add Bluetooth to your apps, the real tick settings, video, audio, others, HDMI, CEC. All that's going to be personal preference. For the most part, I left that at default, just so you're aware. But it is an option at the end of the day. Okay, I'm going to pull this back so you see more of the screen here. All right. So... What I'm going to do from here is transition over to the firmware. Okay, so for this next part of the video, um, you're going to head into miscellaneous. And that probably didn't roll off the tongue properly, but it is what it is. <laughs> but um, here, all you need to worry about is firmware upgrade. Now, here's what I did to make sure I got the up-to-date interface. You see where it says current firmware version? That's the latest beta release. So you want to select ignore beta versions? You want that to be no. You want the other two options to preferably be yes, but you want to check for firmware updates. Mine's is not going to have one because I'm up to date. I did this before I went to work earlier this morning. So um, I'm all up to date but I have the ability to switch back from the old interface and the new interface. The reason why I set up the video like this is because you're not going to see the new interface on the latest stable firmware. So I showed you in the beginning of the video what it could look like in the end, but now I'm showing you how to get to that point, if that makes sense. All right, and once you do that, and depending on your internet, it can take a little bit. It can take between five to 10 minutes for it to fully go through. Um, download, install, reboot, and all of that. So I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? Now, if you have the device 
and if you're at the point of doing this in the video, um, your device is going to automatically download the latest beta firmware, it's going to install, and it's going to automatically reboot, and it's going to present you with a different interface. So now on the latest interface update for the Doom, I'm going to be getting a little bit more in depth in terms of how I set this device up and what comps included out of the box, where it can make it very convenient for you. So I'm going to transition into the next part of the video and we're going to have some fun here. Okay, and we are back to the latest layout for this device. And I think it's very well done professionally and all that. But let's get you to your content. Now, I have my preference for setting up this device in terms of viewing my own content is setting up, you know, Samba shares and playing content directly through my network. I have a dedicated NAS unit for that. I don't have any drives plugged directly into this. The only thing I have plugged in is for my USB combo for my mouse and keyboard, but that's about it. So I'm gonna just adjust this for you. All right. So what you wanna do here is you wanna head into sources. Now I have my media for my movies and demos and media too for my TV shows right there. All right. If you use the network browser, let me go in here. Me uh, actually get up. All right. Cause if I'm far away where these screens are sort of like, depends on the colors on a bloom. So there's network places, there's NFS and there's multimedia devices. Some people prefer UPnP, some people prefer NFS. I know a YouTuber that has their stuff set up on their Sapiti and their Sadu through that. I prefer Samba. So I'm gonna to go to Network Places. And this is based on your setup, by the way. So it found my Synology NAS. Let me go in, pin. All right, so I have media and media two and Plex Media Server, which at the moment I do not have installed. So to get these added on the remote, there's going to be like a pop up menu. It's going to be in the upper right hand corner on the circular pad. And you're going to highlight that and you're going to add as a network folder. Pretty simple. Nothing complicated at this part. And I did that for both of these. Now, of course, I already have them set up, but I add as a network folder. That's just for what I wanted in this case. All right. Now I'm just going to transition back so that you can see the full screen. Okay. So. We told Doom what we wanted as far as the sources. So now you see media and media two here. The same thing will occur if you have this similar setup. Now I'm gonna use that same pop-up menu and it has add to my collection. My collection is Doom's version of home theater. You know, if you use as a do and things like that or the alternative for the Sapiti, e great and the media players that came in the past. My collection is home theater on this device. You add that to my collection. You would do it for both of these. Add to my collection. I already got that set up. All right, so it's in your collection. Now, what you have to do is go over and find it. It's not a lot of steps, but it can be confusing at first for beginners, especially. Um, so let me get into that. So we see here you have data storage and managed folders. You wanna go into managed folders and you see movies and TV shows pop up, but how did they pop up here? Here's what I did. 
on media that's my movies and that's my demos on media too i have my tv shows so here's what i did let me uh get up once more now media click into it and for my movies i went to media so it says it right here adding folders to collection press right to add the selected folder Press enter to browse the selected folder. On this screen, I press right because I wanted this specific folder to be a part of my collection. Now I'm going to back out here. And I did the same thing for TV shows. Media, TV shows. And on this part, uh, let me see. I'll go into it. Let me back out. I press right here and it added this specific selected folder. So now if I want to add my demo content on my, my collection, I will go to media. I will go to demos and then I will press right. So now you stick back down. It says add folder to my collection. That's demos. I would do OK. And now it gives me options. So this is start indexing, clear indexing, edit matches between files and movies, rename folder or delete folder. What you want to do in this case. This is my demo. So I already have my movies and TV shows loaded. I want to start indexing. And it's going to index. And once again, at any point of this process, please uh, pause me as much as you can. Rewind, take notes, or slow me down. YouTube has this ability. I will be getting to each and every one of your questions in the comment if you are still confused after this video. But I think we're going in a step in the right direction. All right, 17 minutes in. I added this, my demos, 17 in a collection, total of 41 files. All right, now I'm just gonna transition back to the mainstream. And let's see what pops up. Okay, so in the movies and TV series, it did manage to find some of the demos. Let's see. It's not perfect, newly added. All right, let's see, he gave me cars. That's not. So what I can do is that I can clean this up. Um, I can just use the demos as like a file browser, but let's see the results. So this is the picture wall, poster wall, movie wall, whatever you want to call it. So if you press A on the remote, you see how it changes the views? Guys and gals, this is a monster for home theater. This picture wall is just as legit as you see in applications like Plex, MB, Cody, Zapiti, Zadu. I mean, this gives you options as well. And the new user interface update just takes it to another level. So if you press A again, right, it gives you that view because you may just want to browse your content like this. You press A again, gives you a different view. This is the view that um, I think this is the default view. Press it again. You press it again. It introduced you to the poster wall, but it still has that. Well, it still has my collection up top. You press A again. It still have my collection up top. But you press it again. It disappears. And that's my preferred view and you enjoy your content the way you want to have it set up. Now, let me go to Adobe app. So like I said, some of the demos are working. Um, this is Adobe Atmos demo disc 2015. 
like I said, it's going to be some inconsistencies. These are demos. My movies and TV shows that I personally added to this is 100% accurate. So I can clean up the demos um, maybe off camera and present another video. But I could just simply use the demos as a file browser. I don't have to have them with my titles. It's really not necessary. But I'm just showing you the full process on how to get the content added. So if you were doing your movies or your TV, this is how they will look. Dune is very great at matching your titles. They do it, in my opinion, better than it's a do. Okay. We're going back out of there. All right, so let's get into how I set this device up outside of my collection. All right, so it's TV series. So that's TV Mate. So this device comes pre installed with the Google Play Store and Aptoy, meaning that you do not have to do much work when it comes to getting your additional applications. This also runs the Android TV OS version Android 9. And let's show it. So there's applications. There's Dune HD applications, which it gives you movies. And based off of the services that you have linked, there's the poster wall. So at first, I thought this was a flex on the old firmware, the stable one, because at the time, it did not have an option to link services. But now I understand why they did it like this. You can link your services this way. And this is a legitimate poster wall. So this isn't my content, but I have some of the movies that's featured in here. And um, yeah, it's, it's a beast. But they have music. So this is content, I guess, on their cloud. Um, where you can go by albums, by genres. I'm more of a hip hop kind of guy, R&B, uh, hip hop. And <laughs> the stuff that you see here actually plays. It, it plays. Um, this is sort of like an all-in-one device um, for that matter. It's, real, it's, it's very much laid out professionally and it gets you to the content then you have my collection which you can come in here and on the older um firmware you can come in here and what i would do i would just go by movies browse by folder i got demo so for the demo content i can just do this Now, knowing that some of this is wrong, of course, like the cars and uh, Dutch. But I can get that fixed up. Go to my movies, all genres. There's my poster wall again. So there's like multiple ways to like get to your content. All right. Multiple ways to get to the content so that you can be successful. And I'm going to just look at that is beautiful. Don't sleep on Doom, ladies and gentlemen. Do not sleep on the Doom. All right. Put it back out of this. So this is the Doom HD application side. Shoutcast is like a radio music option. If you go to add, all you get is YouTube. It comes pre-installed with SmartTube Next, which is an ad-free YouTube. Now, this is where things get interesting. If you go to the Android applications, dun, 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 Android TV OS, Google Play Store pre-installed, Play Music pre-installed, Play Games pre-installed, SmartTube Next, I got Send Anywhere, Speed Test, Ada64, Analyti, and TV Mate. I got all of those from Aptoy. Now watch what happens when I do add. Watch what loads up. Y'all recognize that? App Toy TV. You don't, look, 
I'm going to be upfront with y'all. Depending on what route you're going to go or what applications you need, you don't even have to uh, sign in to the Google Play Store. You can just go to AppToy. It comes pre-installed. You don't have to do the work. You figure out what you need to add and you get your additional applications and you enjoy this device. You can be successful by following a similar path as what I'm showing in this video. And, you know, this is the App Toy Store. You know, Plex is on here. I know some of y'all like to use Plex, things like that. So this is very, very nice. I'm gonna back out of that. Now, there's my uh, TV mate. First of all, I have that listed here. So let me show you how I got this TV. So on the pop-up menu on the remote, I can do TV section setup. So I got TV mate from Aptoid. I can choose another application. So if you have a service or an application that you prefer, I know some of you prefer IM player, things like that. I got TV mate. You can choose it here and you can map it. All right. Now check this out. Boom. There's the TV mate. You know, I configured it to where nothing plays. You just see the TV guide and you see a black screen. <clears throat> so this is a premium device and I like it very much. Android TV, watch this. Android TV OS. I mean, <clears throat> you can switch it up. You can switch views. You know, you could browse your content through here. You know, obviously applications from AppToy or the Google Play Store, you'll be able to see it on the front page if you add it, like Smart Tube, TV Mate, um, Google Play Store, things like that. Hope y'all enjoying the content so far of this video. You know, let me know if you have any questions about getting this device set up to your preference, to your liking. <clears throat> But yeah, um, if I go, it's, I mean, it's Android TV OS, you know, free live TV, shop live, go to the settings. You can um, customize the video settings to your liking here. I almost left this on default, to be honest, um, for audio. Left this on default as well. HDMI, CEC, and all that. Supports all the sound codecs Dolby Atmos, AC3, EAC3, DTS, DTS HD, AAC, Dolby True HD. So it got all the major formats. Um, if you use something like a NVIDIA Shield, um, you will see similar options here as well. So, <clears throat> and how do you get back out of Android TV OS to access your content? So the difference between this device and other Android TV OS devices is the Dune HD experience, my collection, the new interface to get out of this. All you do is head over to Dune HD, you hit it, and it takes you back. And then what you do from here, you go back to your content. Make sure you're in my collection when it comes to your content. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I forgot to show is how you link those services that you see up top, like Netflix, Prime Video, Amazon, I don't have any use cases for them. In my opinion, I think if you're purchasing a device like this, you want to have your own collection. But I will show that and I will wrap up this video shortly. 
Okay, so let's use Netflix as an example. So um, this is integrated into this new um, interface. Don't want to play nothing. Um, so when I hit play here, it's going to give a pop-up. Require application is not installed. Download install application. So I'm going to hit no because anything that I would like on this device, um, I can put on it myself. But it's a nice option to have. Um, but what I will do here is I'm going to go over all the way to the gear icon and I'm going to go to applications. <clears throat> then I'm going to go to movies, online services configure. And I'm just going to, you can enable these, but I'm just going to remove all these only because um, I'm not going to use them. I just zoomed in there so you can see what I'm doing. A lot of, a lot of this content in here. Cause I want to see if that's going to clear out my home screen or just free it up to where I just see my collection. Like, is that something that can be done? I mean, either way, I'm cool with it, but it'd be cool. So all that is gone. So let's go back to the main screen. Boom. All I get is movies, TV series, my TV mate, applications, and sources. I just cleaned up my home screen. And I am loving the Dune HD for home theater. <clears throat> so... This about wraps up this video. Um, if you feel as though I didn't cover anything or any video, or if you need more clarification, or you may just need another option when it comes to this device, um, let me know down in the comments. I try to give like an overview of this. So it was some things that was rushed, but I do feel I accomplished the essentials to get you up and running um, when it comes to this device. My preference is streaming the files locally through my network, but you do have the ability to plug in a drive and watch your content that way as well. I prefer this setup. So this is the option or route that I chose to show you. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Until next time, peace out. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.